What up everybody? It's Peter Holmes here with Enjoy Winter. Uh, today we're going to talk about some bounding. Bounding is a great way to get some ski specific technique work in during the summer. Uh, it's a pretty much as close as you can get without roller skiing or actually skiing. Um, but it's a great way to keep in touch with all those muscles that are kind of used the same for classic skiing. So all you really need for ski walking or bounding is a good pair of running shoes and a pair of poles. These poles are gonna be shorter than your classic poles would be, and you generally want them kind of right at your sternum or maybe a little taller. Mine are just above my sternum, um, but anywhere in there. If they're a classic length, it's too tall, and the way you move, it just isn't gonna be quite as ski specific. It's gonna be like classic skiing with a skate pole. But when we reference bounding, there's kind of four main types of bounding. The first type is ski walking, and that's just pretty much mimicking a classic stride nice and mellow without an actual bound or a leap to it. The second is going to be a moose hoof, which is like a light bound. It's great for like L3 and sustained bounding. It's a little more joggy, but it still uses the same muscle groups and the same style as the ski walking and the classic ski. Third is going to be your bound. It's like a moose hoof, but it's more dynamic and more powerful. So it's better for your like level four or harder efforts that are shorter. And then the fourth would be pretty much just a run, kind of like a Claybo run or a classic sprint run, if you will. And that's just kind of moving the body as fast as you can with poles and running as hard as you can. For bounding and ski walking technique, you're just going to use the same arms that you would as classic skiing. So you want nice relaxed shoulders, the um, kind of a soft seat in your back, and then just nice pendulum from the shoulder with your arms, just nice and steady. And then when you put it in, you want to plant and really pull through your lat muscle. Uh, the bounding really helps if you use your arms quite actively. For good ski walking technique, you're gonna pretend basically like your classic skiing, and you're going to leave that heel nice and low like you have a ski on. You're going to pendulum it through and you're going to drive the knee forward and the hip at the same time just like you would if you were classic skiing and you're just going to drive the other one forward too. When you land that foot you want to come down and have good ankle flexion as if you were classic skiing and really have good impulse on the ground. So you want to come, compress, drive the leg. Leave the heel low, compress, and drive the leg. For the moose hoof, it's kind of between a ski walk and a bound. So similar to the ski walk, you have the low heel, you have a good impulse, you have good hip drive, but now with the moose hoof, you're just going to add a little pep to it, and it's just like a light bound. So it's just kind of be like you're almost jogging, but with a low heel and good hip drive. exaggerated moose hoof. Um, so you're gonna, again going to have that low heel, you're going to pendulum it through, you have good hip and knee drive, but you're just going to really compress into the ground and explode off of it and get more distance and use more effort than if you were moose hoofing or ski walking. Finally, for the run, this is going to be more like the sprint technique of skiing where you're just running on your skis and this is just for speed. Uh, just moving your body as fast as you can. Really big strong pole plants to get as much force moving up the hill as you can 
And this is where you can let your leg cycle and just really run it like if you were on classic skis running in a sprint race. Alrighty, rolling. So that's some pretty basic ski walking and bounding technique. Uh, it's a great way to keep some ski specific movement throughout the summer and to do some intensity with ski specific movement as well. Thanks for watching. See you out there.